Good morning, Patriots. I'm Miklos. Today is Friday, March 8th, and here are your morning announcements. Applications for the Science National Honor Society are now available. Returning members and new applicants may pick up applications in Ms. Brown's room, 246, or in Mr. Farbrow's room, 243. The deadline is Friday, March 15th. All completed applications are due to Ms. Brown in room 246, no later than Friday, March 15th. There will be no extensions given, so no late applications will be accepted. If you have questions, please see Ms. Brown in 246 or Ms. Farbrow in 243. Speaking of science, are you interested in the sciences? Well, the Space Club has just the thing for you. A Nobel Prize winner, Professor Rai Wells from MIT, will be speaking through Skype at the Space Club's meeting on Thursday next week, March 14th. Professor Weiss has awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics, along with Professor Kip Thorne and Professor Barry Barish for decisive contributions uh, to the LIGO detector and the observation of gravitational waves. Talking with such a great scientist is an extremely exciting and unique opportunity that you truly do not get every day, or even every year. The meeting will be held in Dr. Oliver's room, room 262. Hope to see you there, Patriots. The TomTom Tom Youth Conference will be uh, here before you know it. Uh, come to the interest meeting today during Patriot Period in the Media Center. Permission forms are available in the Counseling Office and from Ms. Mason in the Media Center. If you want to uh, present a project, perform a talent show, or, or show off some of your work, we'd love to have you. AHS HOSA will be selling St. Patrick's Day grams starting today through March 15th for 50 cents. Uh, send them to your friends and they'll receive a St. Pat Patty's Day gram and some sweet treats. Come purchase a gram during lunch. Next week on Wednesday, March 13th from 6.30 p.m. until 8.30 p.m., Alamo County Indoor Percussion will be hosting a friends and family night at Monticello High School in the gym. They'll be performing their 2019 show titled Bent, and will have some guest performers perform as well. Admission is free, and all are encouraged to come out and support. Tonight, the AHS Student Showcase will be... Uh, uh, there will be multiple choirs, solo acts, improv for Senex pieces, the curious incident of the dog in the nighttime, and more. Get a glimpse at all of the wonderful things that we are doing this year, this Friday, March 8th, at 8 p.m. in the auditorium. Admission is $5. Hope to see you there. Now, here's a special announcement from Superintendent Dr. Matt Haas. Greetings, everyone. I really appreciate this uh, opportunity that I have and uh, for you to take some time to listen as I talk about something that I think is all, that is uh, very important to all of us uh, in our Albemarle County Schools, whether you're a member of our staff, a student, or a member of our families or a community member. For all of our children to do well in school and in life, they need to be safe and they need to feel safe. Learning is a struggle to grow, but it should be a productive struggle of curiosity, esteem, and growth. It's my operational responsibility as superintendent to enforce our student conduct policy to provide each student with an educational environment in which they can achieve their full potential. The policy states here that an important student responsibility is to avoid disruptive conduct that infringes on the rights of others. School officials could not censor student speech, and here's the other part, unless it disrupted the educational process. So I say disruptive speech is not protected speech. I'll say that again. While students do not shed their constitutional rights when they enter the schoolhouse door, disruptive speech is not protected speech. Images of white supremacy, including Confederate and Nazi imagery, should not be permitted in our schools because they cause substantial disruption. They interfere with our educational responsibilities and they may lead to further unrest in the future. Based on the research on health and learning issues I presented here, I can draw no other conclusion. 
I would like one day to stand before the board and the community and say that there are no acts of racism in our schools, but today is not that day. So thank you very much uh, for your time. In closing, uh, I will say that the next several slides that we're providing have uh, links to articles, research articles, and other topical articles on this issue, and I would encourage you to take a look at those. But again, thank you very much, and thank you for all the great work you do uh, to help support our students and their learning in our Balkan schools. Thank you. In sports news, the defending state champion boys soccer team will be scrimmaging against Hickory this evening at 6. Come out and get a first look at this year's squad and support your Patriots. That's all for now. Have a great weekend.